Hi, I'm Henry. And Stella from People University. We have today Heat Pedal to the Metal. Now, this game plays one to six players by Days of Wonder, but in this video, we will play a few rounds of solo playthrough. That's right. By oh. Hen. Yes. Hen solo. Hen <laughs> solo, that's right. Uh, yeah, so I'll do one lap. Mm -hmm. around um, at the front track here mm -hmm. and um, I'll show off the base game without any of the modules yes. so I'll be showing you how the bot works and and um, having a quick race one, one lap race against those bots yes. and we'll show off all the mechanics and I'll give you an overview of how the game works sounds good let's do this let's start with the overview friends cool. track so in heat pedal to the metal we are formula one drivers and we are attempting to win a race pretty straightforward uh, on our turns, we're going to be drawing seven cards from our deck of cards here. Everyone's going to have the same starting deck of cards, and these are going to consist of race cards and stress cards and heat cards. Race cards is how you're going to move your car forward. You'll play a number of these equal to what gear you're in. So if you're in first gear, you'll get to play one card. If you're in fourth gear, you'll get to play four cards Ooh, every goodness. round. And you'll have, you have to play as many cards as the gear you're in be it to your peril or not. Mm. So on your turn, you'll play cards equal to the, your gear and you'll move the number of spaces on those cards. Some cards like stress cards will force you to draw a random card at the top of the deck given your a, an amount of movement that you're not sure about. And that will come into effect when you get into corners. Uh, so basically we have four drivers here. We'll be racing around this track, completing one lap in our playthrough, uh, well, it's two laps for this particular track uh, in a standard game. And the bots will also be taking all their turns just after me. That's all uh, governed by this deck here. And that, this will tell them how far each of the bots move. And if they go too far and race around the corner too fast, the movement will change to be stopping just before the corner. And the bots can also have hiccups as well. They can make a move that doesn't quite get them around the corner, slowing them down for future rounds. And yeah, it's very clever. It's very easy with the bots, and I'm keen to show that off. Let's show it off. Let's uh, we will continue to explain how it works and how the bot works as yes. we play. For sure. Let me just give this a quick shuffle. So at the start of every round, we need to give ourselves seven cards to begin. And we can have a quick look at those. We've got lots of high numbered race cards here. And on the board here, it's got numbers down the side of the track. This will tell you how many spaces away from the corner that oh, you are. Oh, that's, that's great. And we've put myself in last place here. You're a green player. Yep, I am green. And the bots are all gonna be um, going ahead of me. So it resolves from person in first to person in last. And there's a little bit of slipstreaming and stuff that you can do. Mm. So there's a little bit of beneficial to the last player in the race. Let's get into the first round. So first decision I need to make is, do I want to change gears? I definitely want to change upper gear. I want to be going quite quick. Um, 13 is probably the ideal number for me to move. That will get me just ahead of, the, just in front of the corner, allowing me to go through more quickly. I can move nearly 13 if I'm in third gear. So normally you can only move up one gear, but if I burn a heat card from my engine and put it into my discard card pile, I can move up to two gears at this stage. So I'm gonna do that. Those cards are bad. <laughs> so these cards are bad. These clog up um, your deck, uh, giving you less choice in the future. And you need to be in lower gears to get these cooldowns in order to get rid of them out of your hand and back into your engine. And heat cards give you some like ways to navigate. Like, if you go too fast around the corner, if you have some heat cards in here, you can um, negate any spinning out and going off the tracks uh, so you can really push your engines to the limits. So I'm gonna jump into third gear. We're gonna go to the play. So this is like a round um, thing along the top of your board here. So next is the play cards. So I'm gonna go as fast as I can for this first round. So I'm gonna put down four and two threes and let's reveal what the bots do. So we flip this card and this will tell us what all the different colored racing drivers will do. So starting with red, we can see red will try to move 14 spaces if they can. They're 12 spaces away from the corner. So if they were to move 14 spaces, it would take them all the way around the corner, and that's too far. Um, if they go through around the corner at 14 speed, they, they're not allowed to do that. So instead, we look to the top of the card, and it says 1. So that means 
on the board printed here, there are these 0, 1, 2, 3. We will move red directly to space 1 and put them into that space instead of doing their 14 move. When they get past this marker on the board, the way they interact with the card is slightly different. So on red's next turn, instead of looking at this number, we instead look at the number on the board here, 5, and add the number in here to that. So red would move 6. So on the next turn, they're going to move 6 spaces. Well, if it, if it was this card, they'd move 6 spaces. Now let's do the same for yellow. Yellow wants to move 12. He's on 12, so it's going to take him all the way perfection to this corner here. Oh. Blue wants to move 10, and they're at 13, so they'll move down to 3. And for me, I am moving 10, so I will move 13 down to 3. Because I am in last place at the start of the race, I get access to a last place bonus, which is I get one adrenaline, I get something called adrenaline, so I get to either, I get to boost, boost my speed by one, and I can also use a cooldown. If I had any cards in my hand that were heat cards, I could cool them down and put them back into the engine. I do not. Next, we look at slipstreaming. Um, bots don't do this, but we can. And because I'm positioned behind an opponent, I get to slipstream two spaces. And that will put me right there. So that's worked out perfectly for me. So this Perfect, is the corner, yeah. this is the corner line. And if you cross this line, you have to see how fast over the corner speed that you are and take heat damage equal to the difference of that number. And Good if you can't brutal. take that damage, you spin out and you take all the heat, you gain more stress into your deck, which I'll talk about soon, and it's just a whole lot of bad. So uh, you've got to be careful around these corners, but I'm in a really good spot right here. Okay. Now, after we've done that, we can... We have to discard the cards we played. We can optionally discard any more cards from our hand, and then we refill back to seven. I like all these cards, so I'm going to keep them. And I'm going to draw Especially back. for the corners one. Yeah, nice and slow. Mm. Lots of corners coming up. So that's six, and that is seven. So that's our first dress card, and I'll have to play this at some stage, and I'll show you how that works when I do that. Anything special about them is that I can't discard them at the end of my turn. It's got a little bin of a cross, so you have to play them to get them out of your hand. All right, next turn. So first decision we go, so we just keep following around this board, is to change our gear. Now, if I stay in third gear, I've got enough. I could go exactly five using three cards. Perfect. Or I could move down to two and also move five with two cards. But that will leave me with more slower cards in my hand. Looking at ahead, it's also like another. There's another corner coming yeah. up quite soon. So I think staying in three is fine. I've got no heat. If I go down a gear, I could get rid of a heat. But yeah. I don't have any heat in my hand yet. So let's, let's just stay in three, I think. And I'm going to play these three cards. Obviously, this would, if it's a number of players, you'd play all play your cards face down. And reveal and simultaneously. Reveal simultaneously. Yeah. However, because we're not, we're going to now reveal the box. So now I'll show you the other way they activate. <coughs> so we start with yellow, if they're in first. And we look, because they're past this line on the board, we check the corner speed, which is five, and we add this number to it, which is one. So they go six spaces, and they don't get punished like with heat cards or anything like that. They just go six. <laughs> so that's yellow's move. It goes to me now. I move five, and I can slipstream because I'm behind yellow. So I'm nice. out in front. It's really, really easy. So it always goes in first to last. So yeah. red will go now. They add three to the corner amount, so they go eight. them in second next to me and blue will go next and they go six. So bots don't ever slipstream and they don't worry about cooldowns, heat, they don't have any cards so really straightforward and they keep up with you well I feel mm -hmm. like. So yeah. So this corner is really sharp. It's two. So I've got to think about that as well. That's really quick in between turns as well for solo. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
Do I want to discard any of these? Yeah. Um, I really need, almost need more lower cards. Yeah, maybe the tree then. I don't know. Uh, I think I, I think I keep it. I think I stick with this. Okay. And I <coughs> hope I get. Oh no, a four. All fours. I've got a heat <coughs> and a five. Okay. Oh great. A little bit of trouble. So maybe we can do two cards as each. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no. That's this is this is the risks that you take. Phase one. I'm definitely moving down at least one gear. Do I want to move down another? You can use so. Otherwise, you would have used one and two. Then you spin out. You no, I'm, I'm just going to stick with. I'm going to stay in two because I want to okay. maintain some speed for cool. this straight. So let's go two. And um, I shouldn't spin out because I've got cards to burn. That's so right. We'll play one and two. I could I could use my stress knowing that I've got a lot of hard high cards already out, and I could risk you know mm -hmm. going the odds that yeah this is probably a low card because through my deck I'm not allowed to yes. search through this but yeah. from my memory. How many high cards are there? There's, a, there's three copies of each card other than five mm -hmm. and zero. So there is definitely four. there's definitely a zero in here still. It could be a four, it could be a three. So it's really really not mm. worth the risk, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah. But however, um, if I was in last place, maybe I would want to take that risk. Because, yeah, uh, that's true, it's true. You've got you to catch up somehow, right? So, yeah. I love this. Uh, we're playing games a lot, me, mm. Karen, Henry, and your partner. So it's good to also see your process thought process and say okay that's how Henry thinks when we <laughs> play this and next time we play this <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> valuable insight it's, it's good strategy strategy as well yeah okay that's it <laughs> <laughs> so let's 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 stick with this so we go to race and I'm first so I'm gonna move my three and I took that corner too fast so I need to burn the difference in heat cards which is just one I move three in the corner is two so one heat card comes into here I've got Four of these left to burn. I'll be, you'll be fine, so right? I'll, I'll be right. Yeah. Uh, however, we want to get them back into the engine. And for me, this round, I've got, I'm in second gear, so I've got one cooldown. So I can cool my engine down with that card, and get yep. it into my yep. engine. So Starting deck comes with that card. That's good. So I gained one, lost one, so net, net gain zero. Mm -hmm. Took the corner at a reasonable speed. Pretty good overall. Happy. Uh, next, we want to. Draw cards. I've got really fast cards at the moment. It's a four corner here, which is yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I'm six away, so I don't mm. want to quite make it to the corner. I don't think. Or I could go through at seven, take three heat, but I would have a really good run. So I'm kind of tempted by that too. You've got high cards at the moment, which is so. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep keep this hand okay. and draw. No. Mm. Oh, All zero, right. that's so good. So I got lots of stress and a zero in case oh, of lots of stress. In case of emergency. <laughs> yeah. So if I did take that risk last turn I would have drawn a zero. Which yeah. I, it would have been better. So mm -hmm. should I should have gone in my gut instinct. No. Anyway. Opponents and I also would have got rid of two stress into it. So if I, when you do the stress cards, you draw until you get to a number, and any cards that you draw go into your discard. So I would have yeah. put two stress into my discard oh, and got be a awesome. zero. Yeah. Would have been perfect. Oh well. But it was not not worth the risk in first place. Yeah. So let's see. Um, red, they're gonna move uh, two plus two. Ah, oh, I see. Yep. So four. So this is the line. So blue is going to function slightly differently. Yep. So they're going four, and they're going to go in front of me. Because I've already moved, I don't get strip, um, slipstreaming, so it only benefits people b behind. Yellow, they're going to move three, so it gets plus one from here, and two for the corner. So they made it past the corner line, which is what the bot really wants. Uh, for blue, they're going to move 16 if they can, they can't, it's too far. So they're going to move to two. So the blue's a little bit off the pace. They're like a corner behind everyone else. Yeah. Uh, that's just that's just how the bots sort of have bad luck. And I've seen games where people kind of like <coughs> at the back, but all of a sudden like, Ooh, Yeah, the bots can catch up too. I've yeah. seen that happen. So yeah, next corner. Um, 
We do we want to stay in second? Uh, what did I say before? I wanted to move one, two, three, four, five, six. So moving six, I can do seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can do five. With two gears. I could. I could bet on red, maybe not making it around the corner and try and slipstream past red with a five. Maybe red finishing here. So let's let's do that, and I'll stay in. I'll stay in second gear and maybe get rid of this zero out of my hand. Actually, let's, let's risk it a bit more. I'm going oh. to play five <coughs> and a stress card. Oh, okay. And Bold move. these, we'll see what happens with this corner. YOLO. YOLO corner, right yeah, here. Yeah, YOLO corner. Let's reveal onto, onto the, the bot. bot first. Oh, I maybe should have risked it. So this is where the marker is. It's on the corner. So they're just going to go four plus... Zeros, they're going to go four. Not putting them around the corner. So I think my first instinct would have been better <laughs> to go Aww. five and zero, but too bad now. We're going to go five plus <gasps> one. So six. six. That's what you wanted, no? One, two, three, four, five, six. That is what I wanted, yeah. yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just past the corner. I've gone through the corner at six when it's four. So I put two heat into my engine. But now I can power ahead, Yeah, hopefully. that's great. Yeah. Yellow, they're going to go 4 plus 2, so 6. Oh, didn't that's it? good. That's good for me. Yeah. Didn't quite make the corner. And blue, they're going to go 2 plus 1, so 3. That's good. Blue is just behind. <laughs> Don't worry about it for now. Yeah, blue's just chilling. Oh, great. So this is... Um, good turn. Okay, good what are you going to draw? We are. Uh, we want. We want, we want speed. You want. You want speed. And I don't think I want the zero. So I'm gonna discard the zero and draw four more. Okay. So you have to shuffle. You have one more only, which is four. a four. So as with kind of like it's kind of like deck building, you just shuffle and then draw more. Yeah. And that's eleven I've got in my hand right now, and it's yep. eleven to the next corner. So. That's good. Yeah. I like the fact that they have this that numbering. Numbering. Does <coughs> wonders. I wasn't sure about it. But I'm like, oh, it kind of takes away some of the like luckiness to it, like gut no. feel. But no. now that I've played it a couple of <laughs> times, I'm like, no, 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 this is very needed. This is it, yeah. It's been far too much counting of spaces. <laughs> oh, you get the zero back. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going to move into third gear. Of course you are. I'm going to play these cards to get to 11, leaving me with pretty risky cards. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is. And I'm going to go along. Saying. So I move 11. That takes me bang to the zero marker Whoa. on here. It's awesome. And uh, then bot. bot. So these guys are still in front of the corner, so they're going to move four. Red's going to move, no, sorry, yellow is here. Four plus three, so it's seven. Red is moving six. Blue mm. is moving four plus two, so six. Didn't quite make the corner. <laughs> 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 Poor well, blue. That's so quick. All right. Now this is the corner one. Um, that's just, this, that zero is useful this, now. This zero is really useful, so I want to keep this, and the rest I can't discard. So. Correct. It's got three. Three. You need three. Uh, 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 oh, oh yeah, that's perfect. You've got three. Yeah. I'm <coughs> zero and three. Oh, i got zero and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now yeah, we'll move down a gear to second. Mm -hmm. And we'll play zero and three. And it's and also... You discard one hit. Yay! Also going to let me discard a heat. But we'll move three first. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah, there's a lot of corners in France. This is oh, the no, first time I've played France. Oh, and, uh, you, you've been using the other boards. Yeah. Because yeah. they are, what, four different boards? It's four different maps. Yeah, yeah maps, yeah. So All right, let's see what the bots the bots are doing. That's a great turn for me. Bots. Yellow is going to move three plus two, so five. So we're going to get all the way yep. there. Yeah. Red is three. No, sorry. They want to. They want to move twelve because yep. they're behind this line. Yep. They can't move twelve. It's too far. So they're going to move um, to the one spot. Because of one written up here, mm -hmm. they just move to that spot before the turn automatically. Okay. 
And blue, they go seven because they got three and there's four here. So starting to catch up with their mm. um, yep, yep. fellow AI. <coughs> All right. Now this next turn might be a tricky one for me, but we'll see. Yeah, you got stretch cards. Stress and fire. It's not really good cards. Mm. For the next draw round. three. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Oh no. It's a nasty looking hand at this stage. You can move one and you can get rid of some heat. Yeah, I probably. It's, I mean, it's pretty much turn perfect. to one here. Yeah. yeah. It's working out nicely. So I'm going down to one. So when I, in one, I get to get rid of three heat cards from my hand. Perfect. I'm going to use one card. I'm going to use a five. And that's pretty much perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's just right there. So, yeah, done. All right, um, let's do this. Do you want to move me five, yep. please, Stella? Right and there. I'll remove three heat cards. Sweet. Not even worried. Yeah, no, I'm just freezing. Freezing. And for the AI, we've got plus zero for yellow. Could you move yellow three spaces? One, two, three. Yep. Uh, red wants to go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And blue wants to go only three spaces. One, two, three. Yep. <coughs> blue showing you what not to do. <laughs> showing you what not to do, yeah. <laughs> um, quite happy with this hand, so I'm yep. just going to redraw. Someone's one stress card there. All right, we're getting towards the end of this lap, so I've got to go four for this next corner. I can go up a gear, up into two, and play four. Get me around there exactly. So that I'm happy with that. Do you want to move this, me yeah, four, push Stella? One, two, three, four, safe. That's it. I've got no heat cards to burn, but I could have if I did. Hmm. Um, let's go to the bots. So red wants to move. Four plus two, so six. Three, four, five, six. And they're catching Ooh, me. Yeah. Yellow wants to move four plus two, one, so. Two, three, four, one, two. Yep. And blue wants to move three plus one. Go. Cool. All right, red's on my tail. Oh. There's a fair chance red will beat me this race because the, they go fast down these straights. They can oh. go up to 18 speed down these um, straight lines, so. Oh, you just want to go, yeah. So it's the furthest past fast. the finish line. You need uh, to go to the four gears I've even. Got to go fast. <clears throat> right, I'm going to discard the one. Three is pretty good. And yep. redraw up to my hand size. Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay. I'm going to take a heat to go yep. to fourth gear. Yep. And I'm going to go these nice. two and two stresses. Two stresses. Let's and do this. Pray for oh, big numbers. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, first stress, one. Ah. Next <laughs> stress, I'm going to shuffle this. Four, oh, that's this one. Oh, get that in there. Yeah, you want four. that in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, unless you have four. There's a five in three. there somewhere. That's yeah. what we need. Yeah. Life saving five. Come on, five. Five, go, oh, five. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Two. Ah. Oh, dear. Well, okay. it would have been the same as playing the one yeah, and two yeah. on my hand. So, uh, seven, ten. eight, nine, ten. You move so me down 11. to eleven. So I'm yeah. past the finish line. Yeah, yeah. And red's going to move. Ten, ten, ten. Ten. What? It's the lowest. Oh my gosh. So ten to is twelve. To twelve, oh just behind me. Just. All right. Let's see the other and, ones. Is there a miracle? Uh oh, yellow's going to go nineteen. What? Yeah, oh, no, he's going to go all the way down to 15 plus 5. He's here. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Yellow has sped ahead at the last moment. Yeah, and okay. blue wants to move 2. <laughs> 2 <laughs> plus, sorry, 2 plus 4. Yeah. So 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that sorts the end of one lap of France. So normally yeah. you would play two laps. We're going to end it there. Mm -hmm. Yellow would be first on the podium. I would be second, and we would have to see who got third out of these two. Yeah, we'd have yeah. a round. Yeah, yeah. Red, uh, red hot favorite. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you'd get points. So there's a mode that you can play where you get tournament points based on your position, and you play over like three or four races, um, count up how many points you gain mm -hmm. throughout the whole tournament, and see who the winner is. Yeah. And there's a whole heap of other modules in the box, including ways of upgrading your cars with like brakes and body yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah. This type of things, and everyone has slightly different card mm -hmm. deck. I mean, decks of um, 
cards that work differently. So you sort of draft these cards at the start and they replace your zero, five, and the heat card in your deck. Indeed. So... Um, the solo play, the solo mode is really smooth. It's really quick. It's really easy yeah, to I do. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this, yeah. um, preparing for recording this as well. Like, I thought it was going to be a headache, but it just, like, no was headache. so easy. <laughs> like, the card, this system with the corners and everything, I can just work it. I can work it out. Like, out. Yep. So, if, so quick. If you're interested, we do have a review video of the multiplayer mode. So mm. check it out. I'll put it in the link below. Yep. Um, and yeah, this is a one lap rather than two laps as yep. the normal rules. And when you play two laps, it, you can see that the development of the the deck as well, you get more hit or you usually try to avoid hit and then last minute you just like race through and then just get lots yeah. of hit and yep. try not to that's spin it. and that's actually... Yeah, so I probably should have taken this corner a bit <coughs> faster, mm -hmm. put a bit more heat into my discard, knowing that I didn't really have to deal with it. Yeah. And maybe I could have got a few extra spots to keep up with yellow on that last straight. So what but, happened when we spin? Uh, yeah, so if I was to go for a corner, uh, if I flew through this corner and I was, um, the amount of heat. Spin out, yeah. Let's say I went for the, say I had three heat left and I went for the corner at six. So I would put three heat into my discard and be like, I can't burn any more heat. I need to burn six to go through that corner that speed. So in that case, we check what gear I'm in. If I'm in four or three gear, I get two stress cards. I mean, one or two, I get one. I put myself back bef just before the corner and I put all the heat into my discard pile and the two stress cards in my hand and that's your punishment. So mm. you got more stress. You you're, you, go, you go back down to first gear. So you automatically go gear. back down to first. Yeah. And you've depleted all your heat. So you're going to have to mm. try and slowly get that back out. Of your hand game. So you really just get slowed down. Yeah. And yeah. I, I had one that I was winning the whole way and then the second last corner. I thought it was fine to play a stress card, but <laughs> quite far away out and I got like a five and it, it actually made me spin out and I ended up losing that race. Oh, <laughs> you're not out of the game immediately. And yeah. then at that point you're just hoping that other people will spin yeah. out as well. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but it is punishing and I think it's correctly punishing. Like it mm. really adds the tension of Playing that risky move, and often that risky move works out. You got, mm. you got enough heat in the bank to like burn, and you suddenly you just got that jump around the corner that someone else has to wait around that corner or something like that. So indeed, yeah, yeah. that is heat solo play. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. If you do, please hit the like button. That'll be really helpful to us. And subscribe if you haven't already done so while well, Henry is packing up. <laughs> uh, you can hit the bell as well so you get a notification when we have new videos like this one. So I'll play through the playthrough on the weekend. And the playthrough, lots of playthrough. Uh, yes. My short and sweet <laughs> and Terrence how to play and so on. And Henry can also be found at Let's Start Playing YouTube channel. So check that out as well. Yeah. I'm also on Instagram. Find me there as well. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks, yeah, Henry, for, sure. for playing this again. And, yeah, really fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. And thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.